Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at family secrets that were finally spilled. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. Found out my uncle is actually my brother. My mom had him when she was so young that my grandparents raised him. What? Wow. So did... Okay, I'm pretty sure he didn't know. Or did he? No, he didn't, right? That must have been such a heavy secret to keep, you know? I wonder how they found out. Was it just suddenly like, it's time to tell you? That's weird. I'm just thinking of like my uncles and then like all of a sudden, one of them is like, I'm actually your brother. No, that's weird. My sister cheated on her husband throughout the entire marriage to the point that all three of her kids have different biological fathers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So not one of the kids were his or is at least one of the kids his because if all three aren't his kids, that's even more sad. <sighs> okay. It's just crazy to think you know a lot about someone when you actually don't know anything about them. Jeez. After my grandfather passed, we found out he had fathered a child when he was posted in Italy during World War II. He never knew. His mother intercepted any letters from the Italian girl. He came home, met and married my grandmother and had four children. I forget who in the family found out and how. It's crazy to think we have a whole Italian family out there. <gasps> wow. Why are all these secrets finally coming out? That's crazy, man. Oh my gosh, this really makes you think like what other secrets does your family have, right? Oh my. My aunt wasn't my grandfather's child. He met my granny when my aunt was a very sick infant. She had polio and wasn't expected to survive. My granddad married my granny so she could get on his insurance and move to an area that had proper medical support. My aunt was the first infant to survive open heart surgery at Yale New Haven Hospital. And although she had to be in leg braces most of her childhood, she had a great life. My granddad loved her like she was his own and I never knew until she went to her biological dad's funeral when I was a teenager. Oh, that's wholesome. I'm just glad that this was a happy one, you know. What a good man. <laughs> My grandma was famous in our town for her amazing cooking catering, in particular her turkey dinners. Notably, her gravy was absolutely amazing, so delicious. She had a heart attack several years ago and her near-death experience convinced her to share some of her secret recipes with me, all except for her gravy recipe. I was going through her pantry and found an entire bucket of KFC gravy mix. She was literally using KFC gravy mix as a base to make her incredible gravy. Who <laughs> just scat? <laughs> Yo, KFC gravy is actually amazing though. I love it. Oh my gosh. So that's the reason why she didn't want to share it. <laughs> Scandalous, that's why. I started having problems with my teeth. Spontaneous abscess that resulted in multiple root canals. My dentist did some looking into what the cause might be and found some really odd abnormalities with my incisor roots and nerves. The teeth that had been afflicting me. So he sent out requests for help to a couple of professors he knew in the field. When my next appointment came up, he was really quiet for a bit before verbally stumbling about. It turns out that what was happening with my teeth was a classic sign of inbreeding and he was super uncomfortable giving me the news. I brought it up to my mum and she was just like, oh well, yeah, didn't you know? Of course I didn't know. Turns out that not very far back in my family tree, several of my relatives decided that it was a good idea to get married to one another and no one bothered to mention it, ever. The small town where I live is 85% my relatives. No joke. I hadn't even met all of them. And that's how many there are. <gasps> what? That's a lot of people. 85% in the town. Yo, that's, that's not good. How? I'm just surprised the mom was so calm and thought it was just normal, you know? Like, yeah, didn't you know? Totally normal. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Calm down. It's fine. What? Isn't it crazy though? How looking at teeth can find out something like this? That's so interesting. What? Oh my gosh. Science. <laughs> That's crazy though. Biology, you know, a biological features say a lot about us. That's crazy. Teeth? Really? Wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. The dentist that found out must have been like, um. I found out the real story behind my parents' marriage. She came to my father's country to visit some of her relatives, met my father, and after just one week, she asked him to marry her so she could stay in the country. My father accepted because he had no one else and his parents were pressing him to get married already. But the highlight of the story is that over some time, the two of them fell in love with each other. Their love only grew over the time and they were really happy together. My mother spent her last days very ill and she would accept only my father by her bedside. He swears to this day that she was an angel sent from God to take care of him. I am shocked that they got married just like that, out of the blue, and ended up loving each other so, so deeply. I can only hope to have as good and loving marriage as they had. Oh, that's wholesome as. Wow. I actually do hear some stories about this though. Like, you know, people just end up liking someone even more when they had no expectation of them being good kind of thing like when they had no expectation of love and they just get married like this i have heard stories where they eventually just fall for each other and the love is a lot deeper it's crazy though it's crazy i guess when you have no expectation from someone you just don't expect them to be good so they just end up being a lot better than you expected you know it's like well i'm just getting married just cause sorry i don't really care if they're good or bad wow well, they're actually good well <laughs> we went to my grandmother's for christmas dinner like we did every year and my uncle drank too much and kind of hinted that he had an affair with my mother a couple of months and two dna tests later we found out my sister was actually his daughter my dad never spoke to his brother again and of course, my parents got divorced and I needed a lot of therapy and chocolate. Oh, I thought the uncle was related to the mother, but it was the brother-in-law, right? Oh my gosh. These stories are crazy. Last week, I discovered that my dad died two years ago and no one bothered to tell me. I'd been looking for him. I'm his only child. I stumbled across his headstone on findagrave.com while digging through Ancestry. <gasps> no one told the kid? And they knew? What? How could you not tell the kid? I mean, even if you don't want the kid to be sad, you should tell them the truth. Because else they're just going to be fighting for their dad their entire lives. Yo, that's sad. My cousin is actually my sister. Apparently, my mom got pregnant really young and her much older sister adopted my sister and raised her as her own. It was actually an amazing moment when we found out. My cousin, sister, and the sister I was raised with and I are really, really close. Oh my gosh, it's just like when you and your cousins have such a great bond. You guys are just like sisters and brothers anyways, but this actually came true. Wow. My in-laws have a brother, sister, cousin, uncle, daddy, mummy, aunt situation going on and it's confusing to explain, but endlessly entertaining to watch unfold. <laughs> what? <sighs> Yo, that's, uh, that's a bit messed up. What in the world did I just read? Brother, sister, cousin, uncle, daddy, mummy, aunt situation going on. What in the world? I don't. I don't. <laughs> Well, well, well. When you find out your family tree is just messed up. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.